Welcome to Spasro Hello ladies and gentlemen today we will see about moon in second house. In astrology, when someone says they have the moon in the second house, they are referring to the placement of the moon in the second astrological house in their birth chart. The second house is associated with various aspects of one's life, including personal values, finances, possessions, and self-worth. The moon, on the other hand, represents emotions, instincts, nurturing tendencies, and one's emotional well-being. Having the moon in the second house can influence your emotional and psychological traits in relation to the themes associated with the second house. Here are some general interpretations, but remember that the full analysis would depend on the overall context of your birth chart. One emotional connection to material possessions asterisk with the moon in the second house, your emotions might be closely tied to your material possessions and financial security. You might find emotional comfort and security in owning things or having a stable income. Two value system and self-worth asterisk this placement can also suggest that your self-worth and emotional well-being are influenced by how you perceive your own value and the values you hold. Your emotional state might be affected by whether you feel you are meeting your own personal values and standards. 3. Instinctive Money Management Asterisk You could have strong intuitive or instinctual reactions when it comes to money matters and financial decisions. Your emotions might play a role in how you manage your finances and make spending choices. 4. Sensitive to Fluctuations Asterisk Your emotional state might be sensitive to changes in your financial situation. Positive developments in your finances could boost your mood while financial setbacks might affect you deeply. 5. Attachment to the past asterisk The moon in the second house can sometimes indicate an emotional attachment to the past, especially in terms of your financial history or family values related to money. This could influence your attitude toward earning and spending. 6. Nurturing through material means asterisk You might express your nurturing qualities by providing for others materially. You might find joy in giving gifts or providing for loved ones in practical ways. 7. Balancing emotions and material concerns asterisk Finding a balance between emotional needs and financial responsibilities could be a theme for you. It's important to nurture your emotional well-being while also managing your material affairs. Remember that these interpretations are general and can vary based on the rest of your birth chart including the signs, aspects, and positions of other planets. For a more accurate and personalized analysis, it's recommended to consult with a professional astrologer who can look at your entire birth chart in detail. Of course, here are some additional insights into what having the moon in the second house could indicate in your personality and life. 8. Emotional attachment to security asterisk Your emotional comfort might be closely linked to a sense of security and stability. You could feel most at ease when you have a solid foundation, both financially and emotionally. 9. Material and emotional fulfillment asterisk There's potential for you to find emotional fulfillment through material means. Acquiring possessions or achieving financial goals might bring you a sense of emotional satisfaction and contentment. 10 Emotional Spending Patterns Asterisk Your emotional state could influence your spending habits. You might be more inclined to spend money when you're feeling down or seek comfort through shopping or acquiring possessions. 11 Family Influence on Values Asterisk Your family and upbringing might have a strong influence on your values and emotional relationship with money. Your early experiences related to finances could impact how you handle money matters throughout your life. 12 Sense of Ownership Asterisk Possessions and material belongings might hold a special significance to you. You might attach emotions to objects and consider them as extensions of your identity. 13 Materializing Emotions Asterisk You might have a knack for turning your emotional experiences into tangible and practical creations. Expressing your emotions through artistic or creative endeavors related to the material world could be fulfilling for you. 14 Emotional Stability and Income Asterisk Your emotional state might have a direct impact on your income and financial situation. When you're feeling positive and stable emotionally, you might find it easier to attract abundance. 
15 Investing in emotional well-being asterisk you might be inclined to invest time, effort, and resources in activities and experiences that contribute to your emotional well-being. This could include activities that help you feel grounded and secure. 16 Sensitivity to worthiness asterisk there could be a heightened sensitivity to feelings of self-worth and deservingness. You might struggle with feelings of not being good enough and might need to work on building a strong sense of self-value. 17 Balance between giving and receiving asterisk Finding a balance between giving and receiving emotionally and materially could be a lesson for you. It's important to nurture yourself while also sharing your resources with others. 18 Intuitive Financial Decisions asterisk Your intuition could play a significant role in financial decision making. Trusting your gut feelings about money matters might lead to positive outcomes. Remember, astrology offers a framework for self-reflection and understanding, but it's not deterministic. It's just one lens through which you can explore different facets of your personality and life experiences. Your individual birth chart is a complex and unique combination of factors, and each person's interpretation can vary. For a thorough analysis, consider consulting an experienced astrologer who can provide insights tailored to your specific birth chart. Certainly, here are some additional points to consider about having the moon in the second house in your birth chart. 19 Emotional Fulfillment Through Material Security Asterisk You may find that achieving a certain level of financial stability and security is closely tied to your emotional well-being. Having a stable foundation can help you feel more grounded and secure in your life. 20 Changing Values Asterisk Your emotional needs and values may go through fluctuations over time. What you emotionally value now might evolve as you gain new experiences and insights, especially related to money and possessions. 21 Emotional Investment in Skills Asterisk Your emotional state might be affected by your skill set and talents. You could find emotional satisfaction by developing and utilizing your abilities to earn money and enhance your material well-being. 22 Sentimental Attachments Asterisk You might form sentimental attachments to specific objects or possessions. These items could hold deep emotional significance for you, and you may be reluctant to part with them. 23 Emotional Expression Through Possessions Asterisk You could express your emotions and inner world through the way you decorate your personal spaces or the items you choose to keep around you. Your possessions might reflect your emotional state. 24 Financial Intuition Asterisk Your intuition might extend to financial matters. You could have a knack for predicting trends, making successful investments, or sensing opportunities for financial growth. 25 Comfort Zones and Growth Asterisk While you may find comfort in your material possessions and established routines, there's also potential for personal growth by stepping out of your comfort zone and exploring new avenues for emotional and financial fulfillment. 26 Managing Emotional Reactions Asterisk You might need to be mindful of emotional reactions to financial setbacks. While it's natural to be affected, Finding healthy ways to cope with stress and uncertainty is important. 27 Building Emotional Security Asterisk Just as you work on building financial security, investing time in nurturing your emotional well-being is equally crucial. Balancing both aspects can lead to a more holistic sense of stability. 28 Emotional Sensitivity to Others Resources Asterisk You might be sensitive to the resources and possessions of others. This sensitivity could affect your relationships, particularly if you feel someone is not valuing or appreciating your contributions. 29 Material Empathy Asterisk Your emotional sensitivity could extend to understanding the emotional significance that possessions hold for others. This empathy might make you a supportive and understanding friend or partner. 30 Transforming Emotional Attachments Asterisk Over Time you might find that your relationship with material possessions evolves. You could undergo periods of transformation where you release attachments to certain things in favor of personal growth. Remember that these interpretations are general and based on the placement of the moon in the second house.
To gain a more accurate and comprehensive understanding of your birth chart, consider consulting with a professional astrologer who can provide insights tailored to your unique chart and life circumstances.